This time, in maps that really shouldn't exist, I... I don't know. I don't mind this one that much, because it looks kind of good. Like, in a weird way, this kind of works. Now, this is a mod, not an idea, and I just need to clarify something, because it's 2019, and there seems to be a crazy amount of people that are still confused about this. This is the EU4 Workshop. This is where you upload Europa mods. You got the most popular, most subscribed, and most recent. A lot of YouTubers look through this stuff. See, here it is, Balkans and India. More than one person can play these things. It's open to everyone. And what I'm trying to say is if you see someone say, oh, you copied this person, oh, you stole this idea, please just go commit seppuku. It doesn't matter who uploads this stuff first. Let everyone play the damn game. Now, I'd assume that Byzantium will have a pretty big advantage over here in Asia, just because... I think they're the most powerful they got brought over, although Bulgaria looks good, Serbia, Bosnia, who knows? I don't think the rest will stand a chance, but I'm not sure. And in terms of the Indian subcontinent, the European Indian subcontinent, I don't really know what's gonna happen. They might just get taken out by the Ottomans. They're also able to bring over some European elephants. We have elephants now, maybe that'll help them, I would, I'd assume so. And we also got like a forest ocean, or something like that, so you didn't even know, this is like the best part of this mod, maybe the... Fountain of Youth is right here. I always love looking at beliefs, and this is going to be an interesting one. Orthodox, in kind of an unorthodox area, but I like this even more. Hindu in Europe, with that Protestant uprising, and all like the religious wars that are going to happen, maybe they'll be able to spread it out, while there's like all this internal conflict. Again, if you're unaware, these straight crossings allow regiments to cross without having boats, which is a little bit weird, because like the distance is getting crazy. I get this one. I get this one. Also, this is probably the worst part of the map. I'm, I, why did they take this island over? I don't think this is necessary. I mean, I guess they brought over all of these islands, so it makes sense. Makes a little bit of sense. Uh, okay, these are still there. Just checking. Maybe we'll see the Greeks do something, too. Uh-oh. All right, this is what I was kind of worried about. The Ottomans have immediately grabbed large chunks of this territory. Um, that's not good. Although, there's been even more stuff in Iberia. I don't know why. What is Aragon doing? Can you guys cool it? This, this, it's only been like 25 years. Things are already breaking down. I guess it's safe to say we're probably not going to see a Spain in this universe. Probably no marriage between those two. Also, Bulgaria took out my pick. Just immediately. Just, oh, I can't believe this has happened so fast. I mean, I'm fine with that. I just want someone to survive. Like, I don't want the Indians to just take them out that fast. But we'll see. The Europeans will eventually come and probably eat them with like a trade company. What would that be called? Balkan Raj. Balkan Raj, I like that. Just one more thing, it's kind of interesting to see that Granada hasn't been kicked out yet because there has been so much internal fighting between the Europeans and there's even more to go. Portugal's trying to do something, but we'll see. France has already won the Hundred Years' War for the most part. Uh, they still have to worry about this portion, but yeah, England's kicked out. Something else I was thinking about, in this world, way out into the future, are we about to see a Balkan T-Series? I'd imagine a lot of Adidas in the music videos. Now technically, I think the European Indians could colonize, but... That's really unlikely. I mean, the Ottomans could colonize too, but we'd like never see that. I just realized the Mamluks are going to be a pretty big problem too, because uh, they're definitely going to want to cross these straits, and they tend to always be weirdly good in some of my games. And Aragon is completely taken over. This is a weird world already. I mean, obviously it, it was going to be a weird world with the changes, but uh, yeah, this is not normal. They did complete the Reconquista, so uh, this is, I'm assuming, all one religious group. Yeah, I mean, kind of, they got some work to do, but why are you attacking Portugal too? I, I don't get it. They've also annexed all of Naples, so they have their foothold still over Italy. We're going to see some Aragonese, what is it, Aragon, Aragon colonies? I'm just going to call it Aragon colonies. Looks like this Vajayjay Gar nation is going to take out their fellow northern Indian nation, which might be a good idea. You probably want to consolidate. The Ottomans might be having some trouble, though. Out here, they usually have problems. That is a nation I didn't think would take over, but, uh, all right. Uh, again, they don't have to worry about the Ottomans. Oh, Malwa now coming down. It's, Bulgaria was doing so good for a second there. All right, well, maybe Bosnia, Albania, Croatia, they can do something. Also, could you have European trade companies? Are we gonna see, like, the AI do something really funky? I could totally see that. Like, England picking up coastal tiles from here, even though it's, you know, not in the right spot. And once again, my Ming has exploded. I don't know how it happens, guys. My Ming is just... It's, it's, it's bad. My Ming just never lasts. With all the weird stuff happening in Iberia, colonization is gonna be odd. This is around the time we see a lot of tiles kind of already grabbed up. Right now, it's only just the French and... Spain somehow still got here. Oh, and I think England too. How did England get here though? That is interesting. Usually they don't touch this stuff for at least like another hundred years. It's weird. I don't even see Portugal, so that's sad. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. I think the Western Hemisphere is going to be looking 
very different by the end of this. Oh, Aragon moving into the Ivory Coast though, which they're the first ones to do it. They really got to get on this because normally Spain and Portugal kind of already have stuff going on. Interesting strategy by Finland. Surround Sweden while they surround you. We have like a Swedish lake. Also, how did Holland take over all of Denmark? I would really like to know that one because, uh, Again, that is another first. Great Britain's doing their thing, but uh, they haven't taken out all of Ireland yet, and I don't know how Tyrone has gotten this lucky. Tyrone, what you doing? Okay, wait a second. Byzantium is now back, and they might be the last hope, because everyone else has been taken out. Serbia and Bosnia now are the only ones that exist. Have you at least managed to spread this stuff? Not really. Catholicism's still here. You're probably going to start to get eliminated. What is that? How did the Protestants get here? Okay, that does not make any sense at all, but uh, all right. Protestants in India. Oh man, and their effort to take out Portugal, which they have completely done that. The Moroccans have now come back, and Castile is now just like scattered throughout Iberia. It's really disgusting. They also lost Naples somehow. They integrated it and then it just came back. They're also might, they might form Italy, I don't know. Still kind of weird to see Austria with this much coastal provinces. Maybe they could make use of that. Please, colonize. We need, we need the HRE to grow. I actually haven't even checked on the HRE at all. It looks like it's doing Pretty much the same, it's fine. I mean, moving a little bit. Prussia's already here. Wow, that is a really early Prussia. Oh, here come the Vijayjays, and now the Ottomans are on the run. I don't know how they did it, but it was a good good thing they did. I'm sure they got a lot of help from the Mamluks. The Mamluks do this all the time. Korea over here kind of having fun as Ming has exploded and Japan still hasn't really united. Maybe they'll continue to move up towards Siberia, although the Russians are coming. Didn't even realize that. Okay, so yeah, Russia's probably gonna be a pretty big deal. And Aragon is colonizing. They got a good chunk of Argentina. The French are out here now. Also, Castile's still trying. Oh, that's not Castile. Oh, that's Scotland. How did Scotland get out here? What is happening? Okay, so you're saying Scotland colonized from this one island. They survived for a century while they were kicked out of their like home British Isles. And then they colonized all of this? That... That does not seem likely, but I guess we'll allow it. That was not them in the Caribbean either. I was right about Castile getting that stuff, but uh, they are, or they were here. They are here. They are in North America. I have never seen the AI do this much with just one province in Europe. Oh, there's a lot of things going on in this East Coast. Vinland, Aragon here in Aragon, Canada. This is the British, right? That's, yeah, that's the... British. And then we got Portugal. They're still trying. Dutch Louisiana. <laughs> New Castile in Mexico and Texas. Okay. Weird. Very odd. We have a British Cuba and uh, France is still doing their thing in like the northern part of South America. Inca are still alive though. Come on Inca. We've seen the natives do good in our last EU4 game and it was kind of the best thing ever. So please keep, keep, keep it going. The Mamluks already out here going after Oceania. I don't know what else to say. We got to stop this. I love that my Ming explodes all the time. Don't necessarily like Egyptian Australia every single time. It's fun the first two, three, four times, not by the 12th time. Oh no, are we are we seeing the fall of Aragon? I hope they colonize a little bit more because uh, yeah, Morocco is going for classic re-reconquista. Ooh, that's a pretty sexy Tunis though. Are they helping out? Maybe they're helping. Oh, they are helping. Okay, that kind of explains this. Still waiting for the day Naples forms a really early Italy. I don't know if it's gonna happen. They're super close though, really close. Anyways, all right, so uh, our Indian Europeans looking pretty good. I think for the most part, they're gonna survive because they don't really have anyone else to worry about. Maybe the Mamluks. Again, no matter where you put this region of the world, it's always gonna be a giant mess. And it is still, Serbia has now come out of nowhere and uh, they are kind of like the last ones left. Wait a second, okay, I can't be confused by these colors. Uh, Aragon is here. Aragon is starting their Balkan trade company. But you know what? Now that I think about it, that might be a good thing. That might actually save Serbia if if the Europeans go after like some of their enemies at least. This is happening. Like I said, no one is even really here to compete. I think the French are like this way and that's about it. Oh, and the French are also out here in the Philippines with Aragon. And uh, I think that's about, well, Taiwan, Egyptian Taiwan, okay. Timmy's looking kind of scary. He hasn't exploded yet, so that's good. But uh, we're gonna kind of need his help probably. Although Russia's dealing with something right now. Wait, where'd Poland go? No. We've said that way too many times in our timeline. I don't want to say it in this timeline too. Lithuania is basically Poland in this universe. Uh, well, luckily things are going okay. We got like a great northern war. How are they doing so well? It's just them versus Russia. Is Russia going through like a Soviet uprising? Aragon might be falling apart back home, but they're still doing good in South America. They got two pretty good colonies here. We got French Brazil. Scotland's still moving 
and going strong i don't know how did they fit that many people on their island and then just move them to south america or something i don't know tyrone brazil tyrone how'd you get over here oh no how is that possible that's not even tyrone that's like british okay maybe tyrone started it and then the brits took them over and then took their colony to something like that we also got french columbia and they're only gonna grow british cuba they've kicked out Castile, because Castile's like nothing. Dutch, Louisiana, that's grown 13 colonies. We might see a USA and Vinland, still definitely a thing. It's gonna be really interesting to see if Castile can even keep these at all. They've got a lot of colonies, but nothing back home in Europe to protect them. So I, I doubt they're last. I guess same goes for all this stuff. Actually, okay, I need to get way closer. So we do have some Castile things, but we also have some Scottish things. The Scots. <laughs> What kind of, like, crack are you guys on? You guys don't even do crack, I don't think. Maybe you are now, maybe you just started, but they got their island still, they're, they're doing their thing. They're gonna get their cores back, maybe. They're allied to Sweden, I don't know how, and, uh, hey, just keep doing your thing. Okay, I was gonna say, if you guys are out here, maybe one day, not yet, though. Wow, and the Ottomans have been taken out. Also, the Indians are moving into Naples. Looks like we will not see Italy, that... Kind of sucks, but I'm glad that, you know, they're having some success a little bit. Ouch, Lithuania took a big blow. I don't know if they won that war with Russia and then, like, lost something immediately. Sweden's doing all right. Sweden's doing real good. Oh, so Denmark still survives. They're just not, not sexy. The uh, Holland is sexy, although they might get kicked out too. Morocco has grabbed half of this region back, and I'm just in shock. Castile still is... Here, I'm, I'm assuming Aragon needed Castile's help. Maybe that's why they kept them around. Nothing independent in the Western Hemisphere just yet, although we're getting close. We're about, oh, yes, we do. We got Haiti, also the US. All right, so the British clearly lost like kind of a big war. I love how Haiti is now just eating new Castile. Cause like I said, I mean, Castile can't defend this stuff. So they might just take all this over. Hansa's here. Hansa and Madagascar, who would have thought? Anyone else? Uh, got a couple people out here. Venice too. Serbia's holding on. Yeah, I can't believe it. They're still holding on. Also, the Greeks got let go. Well, yeah, Aragon had trouble. Maybe they got their independence or something. And the Brits have made it out to Vietnam. All right, guys, have fun with that. That will totally not come to bite you later. Mamlukian, Australia, once again. Oh, so surprising. Very surprising. Okay, now that is a scary Bohemia. Bohemia, what is happening? How did you do this? Also, Denmark... Coming back? Oh, Russia took out Sweden, and they were forced either to release this stuff, something like that. Heads are getting chopped off here. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts, how many chopped heads actually occur. Morocco's still in Iberia, so I doubt much is going to be a threat to them from here. Now that is what I was hoping for. That is a really sexy nation. Are they going to reform Rome? Are we going to see an Indian Rome? I <laughs> I've never put those things together in my life. Morocco's also taken over like a huge portion of this part of Africa. So no wonder they're just doing so well. Also, Yemen's doing good. Darfur, uh, we'll see. I mean, the Europeans are still kind of coming. And there we go, Serbia. Okay, I, you guys really worried me, but that's good. That would have sucked to have seen just one side do well. This is good enough, even if you guys like fall apart. Oh, and it's clearly because Timmy is probably not doing that well. That's a big old British South China. Man, they have really taken advantage of, like, no one kind of coming out on top here. Japan is unified, and they've kind of pushed Korea out. I'm liking this Malaya. They can usually do pretty good, and they're actually, yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Uh, also, Australia got their independence, so we'll see, I guess, what they do. And not surprisingly, with somewhat of the collapse of Aragon, certain places have got their independence. Not Peru just yet. Scotland's still here. And Scotland's protecting Portugal. That is sweet. That's two places that really shouldn't be alive still. Working together. Haiti did it. They took a lot of Central America. Also, the natives are now back. I cannot believe... Are we going to see them do amazing again? I would be so happy. Dutch Louisiana's looking nice. I don't think they're going to sell this to you guys this time, US. I, I doubt it. Unless you give them a lot of... Windmills? Or weed, I don't know. That's a terrifying Russia though. I think I think people are gonna have to catch up to Russia or maybe the British. The British are gonna do well and they're probably gonna take over even more. It's gonna come down to those two maybe. Scottish Greenland, might as well. Might as well, they're just gonna keep on going. I like how they're able to bring out their Scottish culture here too. So we've got like native South Americans with Scottish accents, also Irish too. The Irish have, that was Ireland that went out here. Well, Serbia, you tried. You definitely tried and you didn't do all that bad too. Look at this, you got Serbian, Indochina, definitely didn't expect to say that ever in my life. And you got these islands as well. I mean, hey, I can't really ask for anything else. Wow, you got to Korea? 
That's amazing. All right, definitely hold your head up high. That's that's really good. And parts of Indonesia. All right, so how well were they doing until they collapsed? Because clearly, oh, they're allied to Russia. That that makes a lot of sense. Something happened where Delhi just went nuts, though, and uh, they wanted to take all this back, I guess. They must have stopped British China somehow, because they were a little bit better than this, I thought. Oh, my goodness. All right, so both places did not necessarily have the best games. They collapsed the last second. Oh man, that sucks. Dang! All right, so, uh, well, they're back, and uh, the European, the, the Catholics, well, I don't even know what they are. Yeah, Castile managed to stay alive longer than Aragon. France got taken out, which I don't know why that doesn't seem surprising. We've seen that so many times. Uh, I believe the HRE is still a thing. Yes, it is. I don't know, like, what's going on. Wow, it spread out a lot. I guess they really took advantage of, like, the Indians losing. Out here in North America, the strongest nation seems to be Haiti. I... I know. I... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't know how the U.S. let that happen, too. Like, how did you guys not take out all of Louisiana and then get the stuff before they got here? In the South, Chile doing the best. But, of course, they can't take out Scotland. No, no way. They also got former Tyrone territory, so, you know, they're keeping hold of that. American Peru. All right. Don't know how they got here, but it's pretty cool. Moment of truth, in terms of religion, Orthodox really didn't move all that much. I guess Serbia didn't convert anyone. They weren't interested in that. Well, I, maybe. Oh, yes, they were. Never mind. I don't know what I was smoking. Look at all this Orthodox. Oh, well, part of it, it's hard to say, because part of it is Russia, too. So uh, it's like a little wombo combo. But they did a little bit, at least, and then it got taken over. But good job. Oh, man, I was really hoping for a Hindu Europe but we're not gonna get it this time. Man, Catholicism just collapsed. It's barely even here. Protestantism took over. Uh, we still have, yeah, like the UK doing their thing. Oh, it's such a mess. Oh, it's such a mess. Wow, okay, so South America is like the only spot with uh, Catholics anymore. And yeah, no, it, it really is. Here we go, top eight. I guess it doesn't really matter because uh, our two our two different regions that we're focusing on didn't make it. Haiti number three though, pretty good. They just barely beat out the US. Oh man, Russia number one. That's pretty unsurprising who won this game. I'm sure at a point though, Serbia and maybe the Indians both were probably on the list. I, I think they were. I it's hard to say, but I, I believe. Another just insane game in just a map that really I thought I'd never see in my life. But that's why I love EU4 so much. It's it's so perfect. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to the patrons. Ball in like Stalin. Birthday Daddy. LPC. Elijah Senpai. Bruce Vacation. Swiss Argo. Maxi G. Lone ben Knight, Moke. Galley. Free Cruise. Mr. Perkelly. Cooter Donkey. Brendan Hinkle. Alfonso M6. Millitime. Chewy Long Dong. Double Books. My Main Man Manny. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. The Hentai Lover. Geek Colony Setter. And Sleeper 56.